I'm here with Lady Saints head softball coach Kristen Silva. The team plays a really big game this Saturday at French Family Field, one and three against Hutchinson. Team is rolling right now, coach. Um, you guys are nine and one in conference play. Um, talk about the success that you guys have. Um, you know, we're kind of hitting the ball a little bit. Um, we were hitting really hard. I mean, we were hitting the ball for a while, and then we kind of found our stride playing defense a little bit, mm -hmm. um, which has helped a lot. Um, Pitching's coming a long way also, but I think defense has been our biggest stride. Like, we were struggling at the beginning, and we've kind of hit our stride with being able to hit the ball and play defense at the same time. So, mm -hmm. And that's one of the things over there. One of the things also is you've been very, very aggressive, too. You've talked about that at the very beginning. You guys have been incredibly aggressive over there. And that sort of has been sort of like the engine that sort of has started the team a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're they're energetic and they can run. So that's what our biggest thing is we keep uh, pushing and being aggressive on the bases and keep mm -hmm. going, keep going. And, you know, that's our mentality, think, talking about speed and being aggressive on bases. Mm -hmm. And actually, you said the team has always hit. We've seen that out over there. But now it's, the pitching seems to be finding its stride as well. Yep. You may not. We have Cameron Martinez finding her stride. I mean, Aaliyah's kind of going through it a little bit. She's kind of up and down, but we're getting there. Um, not really too worried about it. Um, we're adding Morgan into it, Mc Morgan McDaniel, so mm -hmm. we're adding her into it. Um, so it's kind of nice to ha start to have them hit their strive and kind of add more people into the situation. Anything that has really surprised you this so far over there, or is that basically everything has sort of clicked the way that you sort of expect, you know, maybe the offense has been there first, and then maybe the, the pitching has sort of begun to come, and then the defense, co you know, ha has hit, and then the aggressive and poppy has played. But has all that sort of come come by, you know, as sort of like the plan? Um, kind of, but not really. I mean, we kind of seen that they could hit the ball in the fall, so um, we knew that was coming, and I thought defense, I mean, I kind of – Thought it would work, kind of go where it's going right now. Um, biggest thing that surprised me is how our team, our team fights. We don't roll over. Mm -hmm. um, they fight all the way to the end, you know. So it don't matter if it's the first inning or the seventh inning. They'll fight all the way. So. Okay. Um, talk about this big game up over there. There are three teams over there that are tied tie for first in the um, – and the Jayhawk, it's you, it's Hutchinson, and it's uh, Butler. So talk about the game up against about Hutchinson. What do you expect? Um, it's going to be a tough game for sure. I mean, you know, it's always a tough game to play Hutch or Butler. Um, but the nice part for us is being at home. We get to be on our home field. The kids get to sleep in their own bed. Um, so that'd be nice. But I think we just got to come out and we got to we got to do our own way. We call it Seward County way. Um, you know, and they got to keep working through at bats. They got to keep playing defense and everything um, and not be afraid to go out there and show, you know, so that's our biggest thing. Okay. Well, coach, good luck on, on Saturday. It's at one in three at French family field. Come on up. Girls have played great this year. Come on out and see them play. Yes. Come out and support us. All right. Thanks coach. Thank you.